Oh, dude. That is so, I love your- Bullet Club! That's awesome. CJ, hey. how you doing? Doing good, bro. How you been? <laughs> good to see you, man. Oh, What's that's going legit. on? Damn. <laughs> how you doing, Eric? I love you're your- You're sweet me, man. Yes, let's Boom. go. Let's go. Let me get my seat here. Yeah, I upgraded dude, a lot of my arsenal. I got a lot evil of my- in the oh. Bullet Club now. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see that coming, but yeah. Oh, dude. that was a sick moment. But hey, how are you, Eric? How's your day so I'm far? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This has been a lot of fun. It's my first time doing this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really enjoying this. Yes. Yeah, I've missed the pan I've missed the conventions. I've missed the panel. So this is really cool to be able to see everybody that I normally would see. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, Eric. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I added I some like new patches. Yes, yes, yes. I, I gotta make it more i gotta be more into my character and also like i remember the last time i wore this i was like at sack anime and i was i had like a jbl speaker i was just playing like 60s 80s music oh it was awesome everyone was like rocking out and shit. it was awesome dude oh uh, man and now the next one should probably be an xbox exclusive i think oh no <laughs> i mean well it isn't uh bethesda now owned by Yes, uh, Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. I'm going to have to get an Xbox, about, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just curious, Eric. Since it's a Toradora event, I've been asking mm -hmm. everyone around. But uh, basically, if Ryuji was stuck in quarantine, whoa, that's crazy. Like your bottles just all yeah, like just blends in the background. But if Ryuji was stuck in quarantine, what do you think he would be doing? I think he would run out of stuff to clean, and like <laughs> he would. <laughs> he would be going quite mad with that like he would be cleaning areas he's never cleaned before like he'd probably pull up the floorboards to clean under them and mm. i don't know he would also probably experiment with a lot of new different types of cooking mm. and hopefully uh uh erica brought this up maybe like a zoom meeting with like all five of the main cast and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. i uh I'm actually thinking, since Amazon now has their watch party available for Twitch streams, um, and I know Reddit does their annual Toradora rewatch, um, when I can talk to them at, at the panel, I might invite them to do a stream of that. Yeah. Maybe set up a watch party for a couple of episodes, because I know Toradora's up there. Mm -hmm. Definitely, dude. Oh, man. So what's been new with you? What are some new things that you've learned while being in quarantine, man? Uh been delving into a lot of interesting books i've been reading a uh, lovecraft country recently because i liked the series and listened to some podcasts doing some copywriting i actually i think i i mentioned on stream one time a uh, idea i had for a series or a mini series or book series or movie series and yeah i'm basically learning a lot about bella lugosi and boris karloff as a result nice also, hey, dude, so I'm actually um, making, like, a playlist. Like, it's Cold mm -hmm. War themed, so, like, a lot of, like, 60s, mm. 80s music. So, like, what are some, like, bands or songs that you would recommend that I put into that playlist, bro? Always Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yes! Always CCR. Yes. One of my favorite bands. Mm -hmm. I have um, a lot of songs from them. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone else you would recommend? Uh, I'm trying to think. 60s and 70s. And 80s, too. Yeah. And 80s, yeah. Yeah, so I have... I, most Beatles, of what yeah. I liked around that time was hair metal, so, like, Quiet Riot and... Mm. Uh, I mean, Motley Crue was a little bit more, yeah, 70s and 80s. Gotcha. I Yeah, I added, like, a lot of, like, um, Beatles, yeah, because it yeah. just yeah. represents the 60s, and then um, mm -hmm. Queen. I put a little bit of ACDC. I was thinking about... ACDC, yes. Yeah, I was thinking about Cult of Personality, because it is about the Cold War when you really look at the lyrics, but yeah. I don't know. Like, when I when I play the music, like, I expect, like, you know, I'm riding in, like, a, in, like, in a helicopter or something, and, like, you know, <laughs> play, blasting that CCR or something. Like, I love Cult of yep. Personality, but I don't know... It would fit, set the right tone if if we ever do have like public conventions again like i don't know if 
I don't know. It's a good song. Like but... if, if you're playing it out at a public convention, people expect like a CM Punk cosplayer to come. Yeah. Out. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Or like, oh, you hear like the glass shatter. Oh, Stone Cold, where is he? Stone or like, Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Exactly. Not Just... walking. He's talking. <laughs> so yeah, dude. Yeah, don't leave without Many pictures. Yes, uh, Brad, are you gonna be posting those on the Facebook page? I would so love that. I wish I could have gotten a chat with Christine. That's the only person I haven't talked to yet, actually. Oh. Because I'm just well, like... we'll have some... Uh, I think we'll all be on the VIP panel together. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there for awesome. sure. I'll be, you know, just commenting away, bro. Thank yes, you. Eric. It was great uh, seeing you virtually, dude. It was good it's... seeing you again, man. Yes. Yes, Hopefully yes, yes. Hopefully it'll be in person. I'll be perusing the conventions as soon as we can. Hopefully if I'll see Sack you there. If Anime invites you again, bro, I got to invite oh. you to Korean barbecue, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> down. down. Yes, so yes, down. yes. Yes. <laughs> Especially if it's with the Rising of the Shield Hero cast. Like, that is definitely oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. Woo, man. Oh. Good to see a familiar face. Yo, Always yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I built a PC, bro. Dude, let's uh, let's hit it up sometime. What are you playing? Yeah, uh, nothing yet. I, I really want to play Fallout New Vegas. Um, and basically, uh, Brad's just going to kick me out, right? And then just end this meeting because I, I do feel like we could talk I mean, I forever. I try not to do it like in the middle of you talking. I usually yeah, just stop, that. just stop us, dude. Like, yes, yeah. I I completely <laughs> understand, but yeah, dude, yeah, uh, I really want to play Fallout New Vegas on PC, especially with the mods and stuff. Um, yeah. I I I hope Bethesda or dude, even maybe Obsidian just straight up re remakes it and like puts in some of the old and maybe new voice actors and stuff, like. Who the, I who the so. hell doesn't want to be in a Fallout game? I remember I met one voice actor at a con. He's like, yo, I've been in so many video games, but the one video game I've never been in is Fallout. And I'm just like, damn. It is a dream role for a lot of people. Yes. yes. Well, we'll talk PC soon, man. Yes, yes. All right, Eric. Thank right, you so much, dude. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Morning. Doing good. Hey, what's up? Yeah. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Doing? Good. Doing good. Hold up. I got to bust this, bust something out right now. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, ah. yes. He got ready, Cassandra. He got ready. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm, Cassandra. Let's go. Oh. Let's oh go. God. He's like, it's convention day. Let's do this. That's awesome. I like miss that about cons, like seeing everybody all dressed up and like exactly. ready. Exactly. Because I see everyone like I see some cosplays, cosplayers here and there, but it's been mostly like a lot of people just wearing formal clothes and I'm that's totally fine. Ah, Cassandra, how are you? I'm good. I'm like, <laughs> you're my first person that I'm talking to today. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I just got your taiga print. Yes. Yes. Let me. Let me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. And you have Mifa too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the guy that made Alex head from Sack. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so coincidence that, that I. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, coincidence, I'm the first person here. I can't miss a Toradora reunion, you know? So, yeah, yeah. It's really good. I, like, specifically asked Color World if we could do a Toradora reunion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. So um, this is my fault. <laughs> yeah, because, like, yeah, Toradora was, like, one of the first uh, shows that got me back watching anime. And, like, uh, y'all did a really awesome job. Um, yeah, I was going through a hard time in my life. But, you know, overall, like, it helped me through, a, like, a lot, like, through depression, college, stress, and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious. Um, hmm. If, um, I'm just, um, for, like, Toradora, like, your character, Taiga, if she was stuck in quarantine, what do you think she would be doing right now? Well, first of all, I think her place would be a mess because she clearly can't function on her own <laughs> <laughs> she needs she needs takasu she needs ryuju <laughs> i know so mm -hmm. like i think 
think in the beginning, like when everybody was so scared to like even just like leave their house, I don't think she would do so well because she was such a mess. Like her kitchen was a mess. Her place smelled. I think she would probably just like stay in bed and then talk to Ryuji like over the balcony. <laughs> but then I think like maybe after like two weeks, after everybody has like, you know, been in quarantine and they're like, okay, I don't have it, you don't have it. I think her and Ryuji might start like seeing each other and she would probably like go over to his place and they would just hang out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I I'm pretty sure you're gonna get this question a lot, especially with the panel, but what are your favorite moments from the show? Oh my God, so many. Um, I actually, I was rewatching a little bit of it before today just to like refresh and when Ami comes like the first episode where we meet Ami mm -hmm. and they're having um they're like having a meal in that restaurant and Ami's like being all fake with the guys and then the guys leave and they're like spying on Taiga and Ami and Ami like drops her facade yes and like starts like just being her like fake self and Taiga's just sitting there like Oh my god, you're so fake. Like, she's not even, like, entertaining. <laughs> and then she reaches over the table and slaps her across the face. And she's like, oh, there was a mosquito on you. <laughs> that's my favorite part. <laughs> nice. nice. I feel like that's so Taiga. Because I love how she doesn't, like, let Ami get away with anything. She's just like, you're a fake bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay, sweet. I'm just curious, because, okay, I've played some Persona 5, you know, Royal and stuff, and I've been really loving the game, but I don't know. I, like, I just hope in the future um, that, you know, they have a game where it's like, I don't know, like, I'm out of college, I have a job, like, something maybe a little bit more relatable, like, like you get a job, like, like, the main protagonist gets, like, a job for this big corporation, and then, like, he has to team up with his co-workers, and then somehow turns into some sort of, like, office royale or something. I don't know, like... That's uh, such a good idea, to be honest. Mm-hmm. That is such a good idea. Because, like, I... <laughs> yeah, because I do like it. I do like the whole high school premise, but I, it's hard for me, you know, someone in my mid-twenties to kind of hard to relate to, like... Yeah. I could go back, but I'm just like, I really don't want to go back to those days. I know, neither yeah. do I. I think that's why, like, a lot of stuff is set in high school, because 99% of us had, like, a regular high school experience. So I think creators are like, oh, everybody can relate to this. <laughs> but then, like, you know, I get what you're saying. It's like, you want to, like, grow and evolve with. The characters like you don't just want them to be like stuck in one place that's a really cool idea though but uh <laughs> i'm just curious so i know like you're a huge fan of music i know you hate the killers and all this stuff yeah. uh <laughs> yeah i'm sort of mixed on the killers but so i'm creating like a playlist of like 60s 80s music like cold war sort of theme music i'm just curious what are some songs you would add to that playlist 60s through 80s yes so i have some beatles i have some mm -hmm. uh the doors um led zeppelin queen um, mm -hmm. do you have any prince i don't prince would be cool and also um there are some songs from the 80s that might have been like one hit wonders but just like stick out to me mm. um you definitely want to put if you want like some punk in there i would say add like the sex pistols yes, or, yes, yes. yeah I, oh i love them okay. also the song rock the casbah by the clash oh yes. cassandra yes that's such a good one i okay. always wanted to when i hear that yeah got it you got it for sure Woo. Oh, uh, no. so good to see you again so good to i see love you too. alex head that's like one of our like favorite mm. memories let me just pull it out here no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh yes, yes. I wish he could have joined this, but I I don't know his schedule. So Oh yeah. yeah. He's he's been busy with SAO too. I, under, I understand completely. So yeah. All um, right, we'll see you at the VIP panel. See ya. See you, Cassandra. It was nice talking yeah. to you.
Hey, how's it going, Christine? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. First off, I like this echo, like this almighty Christine, like, <laughs> yes! Give it to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was hoping that it wouldn't be distracting. I'm in an empty house. No, it's all so good. I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, how you been? Um, I've been it's... good. Yeah. How about you? Wait, where are you calling in from? I'm coming in from Fresno, California. Oh, okay. Perfect. Have I met you before? I like one of yes. those there? Okay. You look so, familiar. So, I, first time I met you was in Bakersfield for like big anime 2015 it was like a year after Toradora was released and I met oh. you plenty of times at Anime Expo mm -hmm. um I don't know if you remember this but I gave you a giant head on a stick of Alex Von David yes, do I you do. do you have it or did you throw it away like Bryce did I don't know I what he I did gave, I thought I gave it to him did I not I can't remember now oh man it's yeah. all good doesn't matter. I thought I gave it to him. I don't think I would have thrown it away, but I think yeah, I either cause... gave it to him or it's in like one of my, I keep legacy boxes oh, of okay. all of like the stuff that fans give me. Got so you. it might be in there. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I have oh my so goodness. many props and stuff. I got a, a pistol. I was hoping to wear like this helmet, but it broke last minute. So I was like, nope, oh. <laughs> no, let's not do that. But yeah, I'm just curious, uh, Christine, I've been asking a lot of like the Toradora cast, but I don't know if it was answered during the panel. I need to look back again. But um, if uh, Minori was um, in, stuck in quarantine, what do you think she would be doing? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. No one's ever asked me something like that before. If she was in quarantine, I mean, I think she would make the best of it. She would like find a bunch of like online internet jobs that she could do that she didn't have to actually go in for. And she would still be hustling. That. And then she should probably take some time to <laughs> table tennis. Table tennis. <laughs> she, should probably, oh my gosh. she should probably take some time to like calm down and relax because I think she needs that. She's she does too much sometimes. Got you. <laughs> Got yeah. you. Oh man. And also just curious with this quarantine, how um have you what have you learned probably about yourself or anything new, any new skills? Hmm. Oh that's interesting. Uh well I, it's, not, it's not a skill, but I bought my first house. So like, just like learning about like how important your credit score is and like all these like crazy things that go into like buying a house, like that's been insane. So that's a big learning experience for me was that. And also that uh, I just realized how much I miss everyone. Like, you know, not being able to hug anyone else or anything like that. I have my little family, but you know, I miss everyone. I'm just curious, Christine. So, are you are you Filipina? Yes. Okay, so are you, are you Filipino? Yes, I am. Oh okay. yeah. So uh, last name is uh, Liquanan. Uh, oh, that sounds very Filipino. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. When was the last time you've uh, been to the Philippines? I'm sure last you get year. this. I I've oh last year. I always get this question a lot whenever I meet any Filipinos here in the Central Valley. It's like, hey, like you're Filipino. When was the last time you went to the Philippines? Like, <laughs> oh, like uh, when I was nine, like 17 years ago. <laughs> and I'm just like, I would love to go, but it's just like, yeah. Yeah, well, I was lucky enough to. Um, I went last year. I went to Coron and Manila, and so I went. I went there with my whole family. So we had like a big family reunion for Christmas, and I got to like spend Christmas with all of, you know, I have like 72 cousins <laughs> that like came. So I spent time over there with them. And then I went the year before and the year before that. But before that, I hadn't gone since I was like eight. Wow. Okay. So only recently have I been going back to the Philippines regularly. Got you. And I'm just curious. Okay, because um, I'm sure you know him, Joseph Cervantes. Oh yeah, Joseph. Okay. How do you know Joseph? I've worked with him for Voices of Gaming. I've, d I've been his editor, assistant oh, editor. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. It, when he was doing like Skullgirls or something, he was like, hey, yeah. he was like, hey, Carl, can you do some stuff for me? Like, do some editing. I'm like, yeah, that's totally fine. I could do that for you, man. Did you, did you edit the episode where I like couldn't beat the boss? It like took me like 20 times. <laughs> It's been a while, I believe so. Like he just like gave me like a full on session. I'm like, yeah, probably I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, okay, I remember he was talking to me about like, like a restaurant in LA, a Filipino restaurant, Lhasa. Oh, I'm just 
Lhasa. Have you heard of Lhasa. that? Lhasa. I don't think I've been there. Okay. Did he say where in LA? Like the like the little I, girl? Somewhere I'm not really LA. sure. Somewhere in LA. I'm just curious. Like where are you? I, I understand like you have like some allergies and stuff, but like mm -hmm. where do you typically go in LA when you want to get like some like Filipino food? We used to live right next to a Max's Chicken Ooh. restaurant, so we would go there a lot. It was like, it's all, you know, it's all the things, you know, like palabok and pancit and fried chicken and, you know, oh, Filipino spaghetti. I love Filipino <laughs> spaghetti. I don't, I, everyone else that I've introduced it to, they're like, what is wrong with you? It's like ketchup and like cheddar cheese and hot dogs. But I love it. I, yeah. yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. And then there's also like really good, um, like Filipino food starting to become trendy in some places in LA. Like there's a place called Mam Sir that has like, uh, you know, like, up, like higher end uh, Filipino food. And there's other ones too. Other bakeries also. Cafe 86 has ube cupcakes, ube nice. shakes. Ube yeah. shakes sound amazing right now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Uh, do they still have, ketchup. do they still have ketchup? 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 Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know how to spell ketchup. Catsup? Catsup? You, you, you said, um, you, you said um, Filipino spaghetti was like hot dogs ketchup. and ketchup. ketchup. And, um, <laughs> so, but then you're like, now they have these new high-end places. Do they still allow ketchup? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's part of the taste. But also, Filipino people don't use normal ketchup. We use banana ketchup. Yes. Yes. So good. What? Whoa, yeah, what? It, Hold it's on. still red, but it's banana ketchup. It's called Jufran. And that's what we use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look it up, Jufran, Jufran. banana ketchup. Got it. It's the best. It's like sweet, okay. really sweet. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Thank you, Christine. Amazing. I Thank appreciate you. it. So good to see you again. Yep. <laughs> All right, CJ. With any luck, man, we'll be back at San Sac Anime before you know it, homie. AX. Thank you so much, dude. All right, take Bye. care. Bye. 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 Those plushies. <laughs> I know so many, right? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, hi. Oh my gosh! Hey, what's up? Hi, Erica. <laughs> hi, how's it's, it going? It's been a while. I could have listen. I could have met you last year during like this, like the Sailor Moon signing. I was actually oh. like, I had like a like a VIP badge, and I could like go in and stuff, and like uh -huh, uh -huh. it was just things just happened, scheduling and stuff, and I'm like, oh uh -huh. dang it! But yeah, man. I, that sucks, but it's great to meet you now. Yeah, well, yeah, especially with yeah. all this quarantine. And you know, it's a good day for America, you know? So. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, yes. yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so relieved. Yeah. yeah, Erica, yeah. I just went up straight up, just like, got, went the whole nine That's yards. So cool. Yep. Oh my God. And I got That's a pistol. That's so cool. And I got a pistol too. Whoa, nice. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I was planning to surprise you last year, but yeah, I just couldn't <laughs> find you. And I was hoping to do it this year, but you know, yeah, uh, all that stuff. So yeah, I for, know. yeah, exactly. But first off, congratulations on your marriage with Luke. That's Thank awesome. You. Yes, Yay. yes, yes, yes. I'm a grown up now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been what, <sighs> six years since I've taught, well, when I first talk to you on twitter and like all this you yeah. know it just everything just rolled with like conventions and stuff and uh -huh, i uh -huh. still remember that night i met you me <laughs> and my one of my old friends we took you to uh -huh. in and out and uh yes i yeah. thought about that just recently i was because like because toradora right i'm just like yeah. all these things so yeah <laughs> yeah 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 for sure man i can't believe it's been so long that's like that seems like not that long ago but mm. yeah it's great to see you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I'm just curious, uh, Erica. So I asked um, Cassandra this question. So I'm pretty sure you might get this on the panel. But if Ami was stuck in quarantine, what do you think she would be doing? Oh, man, I think Ami would be like going insane. She would be really just like so ready for a quarantine to end. I think she would have done really cool nail art. Like, she would have gotten really into, like, really, like, cool characters on her nails. And I also think she might need to be on a diet now because I think she would have eaten so much junk food during quarantine. <laughs> and she already was, like, having that issue. 
And I'm like, I get it. Because I, since quarantine has started, I was working out before and now I'm not. So I'm like, okay, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think she'd just be binging shows and just like, I think she'd be really lonely. So I think she'd be excited to see her friends again once it's, hopefully like Ryuji would, would be re, like their whole group of five would kind of like zoom and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, she'd yeah. be able to hang out with them. But yeah, I think she'd be really good at nail art. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I mean, this question is going to come up a lot, but like, um, <sighs> um, Yep. What are your favorite moments from Toradora? I know it's hard to like narrow it down. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. I like, I really like the moment where she smashes up the camera. Um, Cause that's like the first moment where Ami yes, really like yes. just lets herself go and is like, no, I'm not going to be like the, you know, nice model or whatever. I'm, this is dumb. I really like that moment a lot. Yeah. She and then a breakthrough moment. Yeah. Yeah. And then the moment at the end with her and Minori, when Minori's crying, I really like that moment too. Oh, when like she so like reveals, like, yeah, she has feelings for uh, Ryuji Yeah, and, and Minori has that like trip and nosebleed line. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. definitely one of my favorite moments was definitely your debut. We were, me and Cassandra were yeah. just talking about it. Just like, yeah, the boys just go, you know, they just leave their table and, you know, just. You know, Ami just yeah. breaks this facade and stuff. That, you did a really awesome job with that. Everyone did an awesome job, so. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. love that moment. Uh, so, <laughs> I think that was an audition scene, and I was like, ah, yes. Awesome. <laughs> I can do this. So, Erica, yeah. I'm just curious. Um, yeah. mm, 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 mm. I just had my question, and I lost it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate when that happens. That happens yeah, to yeah. me every oh, day. I'm just curious. What are, um, I know you stream, but what are some games that you're currently playing right now? Ooh, um, well, I'm playing Mario 64. I'm really excited to start playing Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Uh, MLM, yes. Yes. Coincidence. And, yes, yes, yes. And Genshin Impact. Now that I'm, like, announced, I can finally start playing it. Because I wanted to play it on stream. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to stream it before I was announced. Because people were already kind of like, is this you? And it's, like, awkward to ignore them before I can, like say anything so i'm really excited to start playing that um but yeah i've been so busy i haven't been able to play really anything on stream that's all i'm playing right now unfortunately gotcha. i want to i want to get crash bandicoot and start playing that yes. we've been saying we want to get it for like a month and we still haven't gotten it mm. so gotcha. but, so right. great seeing you bye i'm sure i'll see you again soon yes bye, bye. erica have fun stay you safe you too bye let's go <laughs>